welcome to our third Tudor challenge. It is. Yep. Tudor challenge number three. Lucky me. Haha. <laughs> Yes, we're celebrating reaching over 20,000 subscribers on the Amblin Files and Tudor Society uh, YouTube channel with uh, another grilling of Techie Tim, the, uh, the chappy who's not only my husband, but helps me to uh, keep this channel going, helps me with all the technical things and who helps keep my keep my websites uh, going as well. I do lots of little things, yep. So he's just tried to look at my piece of paper but, haha, I haven't written the answers next to the questions, so it doesn't help at all. The answers are in my head. So, sure, no, I'm so are you ready? Yes. I'm not sure whether I've been too kind on you again. People are going to tell me off for being too kind on you. We'll see. Okay. Numero uno. In which year was Queen Elizabeth I born? Oh, it's a good question. It's a very good question. It's a good question. It was written by me. It was obviously before Anne Boleyn was executed. I'm going to go for 1534. Uh, um, no, that's wrong. 1533. 33, okay. Close. Yes, she was born on the 7th of September. 1533. Okay. So we've got a beeping car going around the village. I think it's the fish man. This is rural Spanish life for you. We have a fish man that comes and beeps his car around the village. Okay, number two. In which year was the Spanish Armada? Oh, you have gone for some hard questions well, this they, time around. They were telling me that was too <coughs> easy on you last time. Date questions are very difficult. Um, I shouldn't have said that because that means that the future. Date questions. <laughs> yeah. Um, 15. 56. Can I just point out that the Spanish Armada was in Queen Elizabeth I's reign? Yes, you can point that out <laughs> if you want to. She wasn't on the throne in 1556. Then I don't know. Sometime after that. 1588. Oh, okay. Much later. Oh dear. Okay. You might know this one because you've actually uh, visited their uh, graves. Number three, Anne Boleyn had four siblings, Mary Boleyn, George Boleyn, Lord Rochford, and then two others. Yes. What were their names? Uh, Henry and Thomas. Oh, wow, he got that one. Well And yes, done. we visited their graves. Yes. Henry is buried at St. Peter's Church at Hever, and Thomas is buried at Penshurst Church. Mm. Number four, what was the name of King Henry VIII's brother? Now, he was obviously the heir to the throne, uh, but he died in 1502, sadly. We've gone back to easy questions again, I, I have, think. yeah. Henry yeah. VIII's brother was Arthur. Well done. Number five, which of King Henry VIII's wives outlived him? You have gone back to easy ones, definitely. Yeah, no, if it's easy, you can go through each one and say what happened Which to them. Which of them? Because, of course, more than one did. Mm -hmm. uh, Anne of Cleves outlived him. She and did. Catherine Parr. Wow. Yay. Indoctrination really does work. Mm. It really, really does. Okay, number six. King Henry VII became king following the Battle of Bosworth. But in which year did that battle take place? Oh, that's a good question. And I'm not sure whether I've asked you some of these questions before. No, no I don't think you have. <laughs> I would have obviously been able to answer the Battle of Bosworth. 14... You're no good with dates, are you? I'm not very good with dates. <laughs> 1485. Wow. Is that right? Yeah. Hey! You got that one. Okay. Back to hard, I think. Number seven. Which man was Queen Mary the First's Archbishop of Canterbury? Because this is when she was, you know, trying to establish the authority of Rome again in uh, in England. Of Mary so the First. Who did she choose to be her Archbishop of Canterbury? Mm. See, she executed uh, Thomas Cranmer, who had been. Archbishop yeah, I would. Of I could have named Thomas Cranmer. Um, so, who was the man that no, she chose? I don't know. No idea. Ooh. Cardinal Reginald Pole. Oh, Reginald Pole. Okay. Yeah. 
Mm -mm. Okay, number eight. I'm not sure whether you know this or not. Who was Lady Jane Grey's mother? <laughs> Mrs. Grey. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I have no idea what her first name was. Or what her pre-married name was either. No oh, idea. No, you do. You're going to kick yourself. Probably. The woman was the daughter... No, 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 I can't say this, no. actually, because there's a future question okay. that that no. will help you with. No, no idea. Frances Brandon. Okay who obviously became Frances Grey when she married Henry Grey. So I don't get half of a point for Mrs Grey. <laughs> no, you do not get any points for Mrs Grey. Okay, number nine. Which man did Mary Tudor, Queen of France and sister of Henry VIII, marry secretly in France in 1515? Charles Brandon. Well done. And yes. that's, that actually has bearing on the Lady Jane Grey one because no. Frances Brandon was their daughter okay so well done for that one number 10 it's exciting. oh it's all exciting what was the name of the secretary of mary queen of scots who was stabbed to death multiple times in 1566 well he wasn't stabbed to death multiple times but he was stabbed multiple times we've just had this one we on have one of that's your, why i chose it on see, this day see videos you've been listening rizio Yes, that's yes. his surname. That's what well, his first name was, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Rizzio. I'm going to be kind <coughs> and give it to you because the you. surname is the most important. David Rizzio. Okay. So I'm going to give you that one. I'm just being too kind, actually. No, I need these points. Okay, I'm number not doing so 11. Well. 11. Okay. In which part of the UK was King Henry VII born in 1457? He, Henry VII was Welsh. Is that good enough, or do you need more than yeah, that? Yeah, that, that will do. He, he was born Pembrokeshire? at Pembroke Castle hey. in 1457. His father was... His father was? Yeah, Edmund Tudor. Yes. Okay, I can give you that one. Okay, 12. The Field of Cloth of Gold yep. was a meeting between these two European monarchs. Uh, okay, yeah, so you want the two the names of the two kings? Yes. Henry the Eighth and Francis the First? Yes, well done. Hey. Question thirteen. Unlucky for some. Who owned Hampton Court Palace before Henry the Eighth? This is too easy. That's well, yeah, it, 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 all questions are easy when you know the answers, so aren't easy. they? They're so easy for you. Um, Cardinal Wolsey. Yes, that's correct. Number 14. Elizabeth of York, who was Henry VII's Queen Consort, was born on this day in 1466, and she died on this day in 1503. So I want the, the date. The date? Mm-hmm. No, no idea. February the 28th. No? No. It's also <coughs> a really, it's an important day. Actually. February the 11th? Yes. February the 11th is quite an important day. It in really our is. It's my birthday. <laughs> She's my birthday buddy, Elizabeth of York. It's a shame she died on that day as well, though. Okay, question 15. Queen Elizabeth I liked giving nicknames to her favourites and the men that surrounded her at court, okay? Yes. Yeah. Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester, was her eyes. Sir Christopher Hatton, her mouton. Francis Walsingham was her moor. But who had the name her spirit? Who does she refer to as her spirit? Ooh. And was one of them also called a frog? Yes. The spirit was John. Yes, was it the Duke of Anjou that was a frog? John D. No, no, no got oh. that one wrong. Oh, her yeah. spirit was William Thistle. Okay. Baron Burley, her you know, her right hand chappy. Okay, bonus question. Not I need that you it. I'm, it really. I don't need it. I'm not doing very well. Bonus question. Okay, James the Sixth of Scotland who became James I of England after Queen Elizabeth If only that was the question, death. I could have answered that. Yep. 
He was descended from which of King Henry VII's children? So he had Tudor blood in him. Uh, so think about Henry VII and the children he had, and who could James be descended from? He must from? have been descended from Margaret Tudor. Wow. Hey, that's well good. Well done. Because <coughs> mm. you instantly start thinking about the kings. Yeah. Or the boys. Yeah. yeah. But no. Oh, yes. that's good. Margaret Tudor, that is I needed correct. that point, so that's good. Okay, let's have a look. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven out of sixteen. I'm quite I happy think, with that. I think that's, that's really good news. could do better. Mm, that's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad at all. How did you do at home and how did your other half, the the person that you indoctrinate by making them watch Tudor documentaries with you and uh, perhaps making them record videos of you talking about Tudor history, how did they do? I'd love to know uh, your scores, so do leave comments uh, sharing your scores. Um, I'm sure we'll be doing another one of these, perhaps when we reach 25,000. 25, 25,000, and we'll, I'll, I'll be reading books between now and then. Yeah, and if anyone wants to uh, share Suggest some questions, questions then, uh, then send them to me at claire at theamblinfiles.com. Don't let Tim see them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll be back soon. I hope you've enjoyed this. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.